Welcome into Kearns High School for Utah Marshall Baseball as they prepare to welcome in the game day Saints. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Dane Stewart here with Dusty Litster is leading things off here for the Saints will be Kennedy. The starting pitcher today, first pitch in there for a strike from Alfredo Ruiz for the Marshals. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Almost, you said almost all these guys. Essentially, every one of these guys on the game day Saints are college baseball players, and 90% of them from this come from the state of Colorado. A swinging strike there, and quickly Kennedy down on the count here, 0-2. Kennedy able to make contact, big hop, the throw, and Kennedy able to beat it out. Nice leadoff single there for the Saints as the leadoff man aboard. Is now up to the plate will be Aaron Dammel. Dammel, a sophomore at Metro State University. As he watches the first pitch, and it's a called ball, 1 0. Runner goes. A throw in time, and they get Dammel out at first, but Kennedy able to advance to second here with one away. Yeah, hit and run, not a bad idea there. Two and one's a great count to get that. And uh, what you want in hit and run, obviously. You can have something to the right side. Something to the right side allows him to go first to third, but nothing else. You hit behind him, it's going to allow you not to have the force out of second base. So, And not a, uh, an interesting start here for the game day Saints. Top three guys left-handed against the left-handed pitcher. You mentioned the top three guys. Here's number three, Alex Acterman, junior at the University of Nebraska, Kearney. At the plate here, the man... On second, that being Kennedy, is another first pitch ball here from Ruiz. Started off the same way just a batter ago with Dammel. Acterman couldn't hold up, and he goes down swinging. <laughs> That's a great pitch by Ruiz because it didn't matter if he checked or not. That was filthy, <laughs> and it froze him. And a nice pitch there to get the strikeout. On Ackerman is up at the plate now. For the Saints is Trevor Howard. 0 and 1. This one sent to shallow right. Racing over and making a nice sliding catch for the third out of the inning is Weiss. And first runner on, but no damage done. The Saints able to keep it nothing, nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first inning, Marshall's up at the plate, and Wyatt Young will lead things off here for the Marshalls. Wyatt coming in on the season, batting 312. Fun to watch, uh, Young, we didn't get to see him last week. Shows a bunt. This one up the right field line, and he's able to beat it out. How about the speed of Young? Is a leadoff bunt for a single by Wyatt Young. We'll put him on first base. Austin Kretschmar's up at the plate. That ball able to be smothered, and a nice job as Young already displayed that speed, and you certainly don't want to give him a free 90 feet. Young took off running, hit and run. He'll round second is nice hit by Kretzmar, and now runners at the corners here in the bottom of the first. And Dayton Dooney up at the plate in that number three spot in this batting order. And how about, I mean, the Saints got a man to second in scoring position, top of the first, but right now this inning shaping up beautifully for the Marshals as this one chopped to second. It will bring in a run, so Dooney able to do his job. There's one away here, but it's a one nothing lead for the Marshals. Cad, Trevor Cad up at the plate. And how about the Marshals? Does he swing in early in a lot of these at-bats? Saw a couple first pitch swings and having success. 3-1 pitch here to Cad, that off the plate. And it's a walk, men on first and second. Austin Deming at the plate for the Marshals. One away here, bottom of the first, as he takes first pitch strike there from Crater. This one, great hit down the right field line for Deming. That ball still loose. And it'll run behind the fence. Is this going to be a ground rule double? It will yeah, be, though. 
pull Deming back to second. But they're going to allow two runs to score, or is the one going to come well, back to third? Well, two runs to score, because okay. I mean, you get a bag plus, and he'd already earned third. Got it. If he was just coming around right in front of second base, uh, umpire would have brought him back to second. But with that ball going in the bullpen, first of all, and then he kicked it back behind the fence, which what causes that going out of play. It was a great hit. <laughs> Terrific. I mean, it was a great hit, and it gets down in that area where a little bit loose. And as it is 3-0 now, the Marshals lead here in the bottom of the first with one away. As up to the plate now is Daniel Mendez for the Marshals. This one hit to right field. Catch made as the runner tags and into third base. Nice piece of base running there for the Marshals. It's Ryan Archibald up at the plate here, the first baseman. He quickly finds himself down here, 0-2. And got him looking. But the Marshals get it done. Three runs on three hits. They lead the Saints 3-0 as we head to the top of the second here at Gates Field at Kearns High School. Top of the second inning. And for the Saints, Jason Hall will lead things off here. Trailing 3-0 as Ruiz comes out with the first pitch strike. Oh, is he a Long Beach State guy? He started Long Beach State. Okay. They've discontinued the football program. Hall swung through that one. A nice pitch from Ruiz. So he'll be thrown out here for the strikeout. One away. Gabe Garvin's up to the plate here for the Saints. This one outside. Ball one. This one hit well the left to center. Retreating. And able to make the catch at the track. Nice play made out there by Cad for the first out, second out. Jacob Grady, one of the men from outside the state of Colorado up at the plate here. Jacob, a junior at Southwest Oklahoma State University. That pitch inside, the count now one and one. Two outs here, top of the second. Ruiz has settled in nicely. This one chopped to third. Great play, and boy, the footing a little unsure. If he's able to keep that footing, Dusty, that's probably a third out of the inning. Yeah, and it was right, the right foot hits, gets the grass. That makes it tough. He couldn't plant and make that throw across the infield, especially when you're going to go to the out of play. And Kretschner, I mean, young man going to go be a Stanford Cardinal. I mean, it's a great baseball program. So they make that play. It would have been tough either way. Yeah because he had to go so far and make the throw so far across the field. Henry Ryan up to the plate here for the Saints. This one inside, ball one on Ryan. Got him looking. Great pitch from Ruiz to get out of the inning. And it is 3-0, Marshalls. We head to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second inning. Dylan Weiss. Dylan Weiss. They'll lead it off for the Marshals. Got such a great start in that first inning with men aboard and coming through with one out is Weiss here. Fouls away the first pitch. So Weiss still alive here, still looking at 0-2. As he takes here and goes down, looking nice pitch there by Crater, one away. Always like to throw that breaking ball for a called strike three and throws him on it. And now, young man, Dusty, we're familiar with Jacob Shaver. Local product here out of Jordan High School. 5A state champion hitting here in the nine slot. And goes to your point, Dusty, that really every position you've got talent. Yeah, because not only that, you say, oh, yeah, he's from Utah. Well, he's going to go play University of Arizona. Yeah. So he hits one up the middle. Great hit by Shaver. Another first pitch hit made here by the Marshals. The Shaver board with one away. And no matter what level, you're nine guy, you want to be a bridge guy, and Shaver absolutely handles the stick very, very well. Shaver goes. Nice throw by Daniluk, but Shaver's in there, able to steal second. Got the right pitch on it. He does. This one hit to short, 
And they're able to get Young out at first, but Shaver able to advance to third on the play here, two away. Yeah, not a bad there. A good bat there from Young, but 3-1. He offloads on one and chops it up the middle. Again, that was out of part of the plate. Rolled him over. And now Austin Kretschmar back up to the plate. And how about this? The Well, people that have multiple at-bats coming into this game, Kretschmar, the highest batting average on the team, 519. So got to love having Kretschmar at the plate here with Shaver on third as he takes a first pitch strike. Kretschmar, this one to right center, that trailing towards right, and that'll be the third out of the inning. So runner gets aboard, no runs come around. We head to the top of the third, still 3-0, the Marshals out in front. The number nine hitter in the lineup today for the game day Saints. Still looking for their first run of the inning as Ruiz is really settled in nicely, had an efficient second inning as first pitch off the plate, ball one. This one hit to deep center. Back towards the track, and what a, is that caught? Yeah, Cad caught it. Still down. He hit the wall hard, and looks like they're going to have to send someone out to look at him. Boy, tell you what, what a catch by Cad. I think people are still wondering if he caught that. Well, like Dan, look, he's still running, but he'd ask the umpire at second base if he caught it. Have you seen a signal? I haven't seen a signal. Uh, no, I thought he caught it just from watching it. There it is. Okay. What a catch, and you certainly hope that he's okay. Is, <laughs> we'll take a minute. Michael McGreevy going to come on in place of Cat in center. It's a break for viewers as much as it is for us. Yeah. Not to listen to those ramble on. Right. There's enough random talk in baseball games, right? We don't need <laughs> another 30 seconds of it. Is Dusty, you mentioned back to the top of the lineup here with Kennedy. One away for the Saints, top of the third. See, watches a first pitch strike there from Ruiz. 0 2 pitch from Ruiz. Got him looking. And Aaron Dammel up at the plate here for the Saints. As this pitch curls off the plate outside, 1 0. Got him looking, and again, it's a breaking ball pitch, Dusty. As three batters face, and they're all retired by Ruiz. We head to the bottom of the third with the Marshals leading 3 to nothing. Bottom of the third inning, Dayton Dooney to lead things off here for the Marshals. Leading 3 nothing over the game day Saints. First pitch from Craters outside, 1-0. This one hit to left, under it, and the catch made, one away here. Kennedy able to make the catch in left for the first out of the inning. As Dusty, you had pointed out last, batter McGreevy up to the plate here, and officially Cad's day complete. McGreevy. Hits this to third, and boy, that just bounced out of the glove, and McGreevy able to beat the throw. So he's on board here with one out in the bottom of the third. Yeah, ruled an E5. There's McGreevy, McGreevy on first, and a first pitch strike here thrown to Austin Deming. This one chopped to third, and just don't think that he had a play. Nice job. Running it out there by Deming, and there's men on first and second. Hey, Abula, he gets on top of that breaking ball, but we saw this in the first inning on the other side for uh, the game day Saints where Wood Bats just kind of kills the ball. Didn't have a play. I, I'm much more, hey, do you worry about throwing the ball up a line because you're going to throw it on the run? Yeah. Now where I see you eat it, keep the double play ball in order, right. and throw it up a line, let a guy score, and uh, have a runner at second base. There's not much protection behind first base, <laughs> right? And so if it's going to be tight, don't blame it at all. That, that's how I got on base when I played baseball. <laughs> that hit right there. As Daniel Mendez up to the plate here for the Marshals is the first pitch inside called ball. Another opportunity for the Marshals to do damage here in the bottom of the third. As Mendez the hit to short, they're going to come home. And now we got a bit of a rundown situation. 
The throw to second, and now they're going to come home. How about this? We got a little pickle going on here, huh? They'll get the one out at third, and an alert job of base running as men, uh, Deming will advance to second. And there's some confusion over which batter was out, but it will now be two away as runners stay on second and third. Set an alert job by Deming. It was Mendez. My apologies. It was able to take second base on the run down. And now up at the plate is Archibald, and he takes the first pitch, strike one. Archibald makes contact. This grounded to second, and that'll be the third out of the inning. So men get aboard, but Crater gets out of it. We head to the top of the fourth with the score still 3 0 Marshalls. Ochterman will lead off the inning for the Saints here, top of the fourth. Ruiz's first offering outside. See if he can get him here again. It was a breaking ball that got him in that first inning. Got him swinging. There's one away here, a strikeout for Ruiz. When you're popping the glove. I mean, you absolutely hear it in this ballpark. That one inside, 2-0. Oh, now the count on Trevor Howard. That's what baseball should sound like, right? Like <laughs> that's That's the sound. You go to a minor league park in the summer, and that's the sound you hear. Howard, the grounder to short. Boy, nice read <laughs> and play made it short, able to scoop that one up quickly. Get the second out of the inning. Well, it's so smooth. I mean, it's just ground, glove, hand, and it's out. Is up at the plate, and here's Jason Hall. This one lifted to shallow right, and there's the third out of the inning. Ruiz continues to be solid as we head to the bottom of the fourth with the Saints in front. Bottom of the fourth inning, the Marshals leading the Saints 3-0 is Dylan Weiss. The lead off the inning for the Marshals. He grounds here to second base and one away. Quick work there by Cravens, huh? Shaver up at the plate here with one away. Watches the first pitch. It's a pretty good one there from Crater. And Shaver hits a nice hit to the right center field. He's rounding second, and Shaver's going to have a triple. That ball may have got lost a little bit at the base of the fence, but just like that, Shaver does what Shaver does. He's got a one-out triple here for the Marshals. Back to the top of the order with Wyatt Young for the Marshals, one away. 3-2 pitch to Young. This one hit right past a diving shortstop. That'll bring in Shaver. And it's a one-out RBI single for Young. The Marshals lead now four to nothing. Kreshmar up at the plate here, fouls away the first pitch. Young goes. The throw a little high, that allows Young to slide in safely underneath, and it's a stolen base here for Wyatt Young. Pitch from Crater, Kreshmar. Sends this to short. He'll be out at first as Young able to advance to third on the play, two away. Four, eight, two outs for Dayton Dooney. For the Marshals here with Young on third. He offers at the first pitch. This grounded out to first, and the inning is complete. One run for the Marshals. The lead 4 nothing as we head to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth inning as the game day Saints. Up at the plate, trailing here 4 nothing. as that one swung through by Gabe Garvins. 0-1. Cad left the game on, and it's three pitches, and Garvins goes down swinging one away. Two base runners this on the evening. Jacob Grady, as he's quickly ahead in the count, 2-0. This one, contact made and just passed Young. There's a nice piece of hitting there by Grady to get on first base with one away. 
Henry Ryan now up to the plate for the Saints. Ryan takes and it's another first pitch ball. You know, and it's it's one of those things where you've got the four run lead, you've got a little bit of room to play with, but boy, that can evaporate quickly. You don't want to give up too much as the pitch out here by Ruiz or the pick off to first. And now we've got a bit of a rundown and Ruiz missed the tag. We'll give it back to first and that came out of the glove. I think he'll be safe unless they say he got him. He did. So they rule Ruiz tagged him? Yeah, he got him. Okay. But I Ruiz, but first baseman got him. It was a breaking ball last time. See if he goes fastball here. Ruiz tried inside, but that's a walk for Ryan. He's aboard here with two away. And now the number nine hitter, the catcher, Cole Daniluk, up to the plate with two away. Daniluk with probably the most, the hardest hit ball of the day, the deepest one, no less, went deep center field. Was Cad made a great grab of going into the wall. Tell McGreevy to be alert. One zero pitch and. They say he went as Mendez had that one get by him. That will advance the runner to second here with two away. I'm going to say with how aggressive Danilik appeared on that last pitch, did you try something outside the zone and try oh, to absolutely. catch him going after something? They go breaking ball away. And Danilik swings through that one. The throw down to first and the side retired. A couple of base runners for the Saints. They leave one stranded. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The Marshals coming up, leading four to zero. Bottom of the fifth inning. Marshals leading the Saints four nothing here at Gates Field. As McGreevy showed bunt, and he'll pull back, and it's a ball one and zero the count. And that's a walk for McGreevy to lead things off here in the bottom of the fifth. Now, buddy, number nine. So now up to the plate will be Austin Deming for the Marshals. Watch it, that only second, only second walk issued here by, by Crater. So he's making him swing it, and uh, Deming's got one of the better hits of the day. McGreevy running, and that just skips past. The second baseman out into right center. McGreevy rounding third, and he will come around and score on the double by Deming. It is five nothing Marshals. Deming now with three RBIs on the afternoon. As up to the plate will be the catcher now, Daniel Mendez. And partly why I always joke that coaches always say they, they're down at baseball. When they die, it's going to be because of a walk. And partly because walks turn into runs. And there you go, have a walk, but it's a first. I mean, he scores from first base. And uh, again, miss Howell out in right field. But either way, you, he got a board free and then brought home there by Deming. This pitch inside. Our home plate umpire has been consistent on that inside part of the plate today. Whether the batter has been left-handed or right-handed, he's done a nice job with the consistency as this ball gets past Daniluk and Deming able to advance to third. Full count. Mendez able to lift this one to left center. Tagging is Deming. He will come home and score, and it is six nothing, the Marshals lead. And it's Ryan Archibald up at the plate here, one away, and the base is empty. The corners here have been a little loose behind that one right down the middle, and just able to get past the glove of Crater. That ball had eyes from Archibald to get past <laughs> the pitcher. Is Archibald the board here? And uh, you live in the middle of the plate. It doesn't matter. You're now in the seven, eight, nine holes, or you're going to end up seeing a couple more crooked numbers put up. Dylan Weiss up at the plate. A first pitch strike here thrown by Crater. Runner goes. Is Weiss able to chop one here to short? Archibald. Archibald never went to second, and now he'll alertly get there. And I'm not quite sure if we just lost track of how many outs we had, but. I think Archibald got fooled. Archibald took off. He was a hit and run, or at least a straight steal. 
He didn't know that it was a ground ball. I think he saw the shortstop take that thing in the air, and I think yeah. it, it scared him for a second, thinking he was <laughs> he was being doubled off. <laughs> well, he almost was. Well, Coach Swenson looked at him. Hey, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> so two away here. Or, oh, excuse me. One away. I missed that one. Men on first and it, second here. Infield singly beat it yeah. out. No, that one drifted foul. Shaver fouls out here, two away. So White Young, top of the order for the Marshals here, two away. Two men aboard here in the bottom of the fifth. Everyone pitched that high, and the base is now full with two outs as Austin Kretschmar coming up to the plate. And this game being 6 nothing right now, Marshall's with a chance to blow this wide open as looks like we're going to get a pitching change here. The new pitcher for the Saints is Justin Mills. Base is full here, bottom of the fifth, two away. As Austin Kretschmar up at the plate, and it's a first pitch ball. That inside, it's a four-pitch walk. And the lead now 7-0. As Dayton Dooney up to the plate here. And there's a nice pitch from Mills right down the barrel. This one chopped to first. And with that, the inning complete. Three runs put on for the Marshals. Seven nothing as we head to the top of the sixth with the Saints coming up. New pitcher for the Marshals, Austin Deming. On the mound, the day for all, Alfredo Ruiz, complete three hits, eight strikeouts. What a start today from Ruiz for the Marshals. No, absolutely. I mean, five innings pitched, no runs, three hits, eight Ks, and the, what he feel best about, one walk. Not a bad day for Ruiz at all. Is leading off the inning here for the Saints will be Kennedy, the top of the lineup. As this ball hit to left, Shaver under it, makes the catch, and there's one away here in the top of the sixth. Nice pitch there from Deming, called strike one. Well, I was in St. George this weekend, Dusty. Maybe, maybe we got to change that a little bit, huh? Nice hit right back up the middle here by... Dammel is a one-out single. Alex Ochterman up at the plate. Nice pitch from Deming. Count 0-1. Don't know what kind of pitch he was down to St. George, but imagine he, tried, he blew things by guys. Not going to do that a lot here. Speaking of, huh? Straight heater and... Able to catch Ochterman on strikes. Hey, Two away. And I'd be right three out of ten times. Be good in <laughs> baseball. So <laughs> But that's be but he hit a spot. Yep. Elevate the fastball up and away. No way he's gonna get to that ball. Trevor Howard stepping into the box here for the Saints with two away. That pitch inside so on his, Howard. This fastball's deceiving. I mean, it's like watching Brett Saberhagen on RBI baseball back in the day. I mean, he just gets on top of you. This one hit back up the middle. Nice hit by Howard and the quick action out in center by McGreevy. We'll keep the base runners at first and second here with two away. There's that inside pitch for Deming, 0-2. The count now on Hall. Maybe get that breaking ball there. So now 0-2. I don't know how much you want to mess around here. This one chopped through the hole. And a run comes around. So the Saints on the board here. A nice RBI there from Jason Hall. It's 7-1 the lead now for the Marshals. Gabe Garvin's up to the plate for the Saints here. 
Well, they've had a few men in scoring position, Dusty, but that's the first time they've been able to bring one home. And has to make the offense feel a little good on what's been a tough game as this one chopped foul down the third baseline. Yeah. Garvin swung through that one. This one gets away. Play at the plate. Deming there to make the tag and got him. Nice job behind the plate there by Mendez as they tag the runner out. But the Saints bring one home. It's 7-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning. Michael McGreevy to lead it off for the Marshals. He's been called upon today after Cad went out. If you got a pull lefty, you want to work on the outer half of the plate, see if you can get him to roll one over. That one. Ball four as McGreevy to first base here with no outs. And now Deming stepping into the box for the Marshals. And he's had just kind of a good day today. I mean, he's three for three with three RBIs and a run scored. As he watches ball one, Mendez on deck here is, that's ball four. Men on first and second for Mendez coming up. As Daniel Mendez up to the plate here for the Marshals. There's a nice pitch by Mills, strike one. This one. Hit sharply to left. Kennedy able to make the catch, and the base runners will retreat. One away. Ryan Archibald up to the plate here for the Marshals. So he takes strike one. and 0-2 pitch to Archibald. Got him swinging. Boy, great attack there by Mills as he strikes out Ryan Archibald for the second out. Dylan Weiss up to the plate here. He takes, watches ball one. And uh, Weiss obviously loves driving a run. Not gonna get a chance. That's a walk here by Mills. The base is full here with two outs. And it is Jacob Shaver to the plate. Full count. The pitch to Shaver. And he takes it. And they'll walk in a run, 8-1, Marshalls. Because White Young up to the plate here for the Marshalls. And there's another one. A couple of runs scored here on walks. As now it's Austin Kretschmar to the plate. And it's another walked in run. 10 1, the lead for the Marshals. Is now up will be Dayton Dooney. Certainly leads to frustration and opportunity for him to just kind of finally end the inning as this one hit sharply to third. And that one got lost in the base path. As Shaver will come around and score, it's 11 1. And that was a hard hit ball. I mean, you're playing up anyway. And actually, that's the ball game. So, 10 run rule here in the sixth inning. We weren't aware of it. So, yeah, hard hit ball down the third baseline. And, and that's the ball game. Well, and it was the walks in the bottom of the sixth here that really led to that 10 run rule being in play. The Utah Marshals, 11 1 over the game day Saints. Dusty, your player of the game. I'm um, going to go with Deming. I thought Deming at the, at the dish did a great job. He got things started off early. That two-run double easily could have gone with the pitcher, Ruiz, but we're going to go with Deming out of uh, Snow Canyon High School. Deming had a nice day. Ruiz as well. Credited with the win. The Utah Marshals, an 11-1 final over the game day Saints. For Dusty Litster, Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us for Utah Marshals Baseball on HighSchoolRewind.com.